Tango Delta. Touchdown confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. New information gathered by the Mars rover. Humanity's on-again, off-again exploration of Mars has lived through its latest make-or-break moment and scientists around the world are breathing sighs of relief. NASA's Perseverance rover touched down safely in Jezero Crater on Mars, kicking off a new era of exploration on the red planet in which rocks will be collected and returned to Earth for the first time. And so we give you the new information gathered by the Mars rover. By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now let's get into it! Encased in a protective heat shield, Perseverance whisked through the thin Martian atmosphere and then deployed a parachute to slow itself down. In a final landing maneuver, a sky crane holding the rover fired its rockets to gently lower the six-wheeled car-sized Perseverance to the surface. The rover touched down at 3.55 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time after a nearly seven-month journey from Earth. First images from the surface, taken through the clear lens cap of its hazard avoidance cameras, showed a dusty landscape studded with rocks. Perseverance is now sitting on the smooth, dark floor of Jezero Crater, about two kilometers southeast of what was once a river delta, when the crater was filled with water. High cliffs, the edges of that ancient delta, are barely visible in the initial images captured by the rover. The landing went as smoothly as engineers had hoped. I almost feel like we're in a dream, says Jennifer Trosper, the mission's deputy project manager at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California. In the coming hours and days, the rover will photograph more of its surroundings and begin testing the scientific instruments it carries. The mission's goal is to roll around Jezero Crater and collect rock samples from the river Delta and an ancient lake that might hold evidence of past Martian life. Ultimately, the rover will leave those samples at certain spots on the Martian ground where future spacecraft can retrieve them, making Perseverance the first step in a multi-decadal effort to bring Mars rocks to Earth. The last rover to reach Mars was NASA's Curiosity in 2012. It has been exploring ancient lake bed in Gale Crater where it has discovered evidence for a once habitable environment, although it found no actual evidence of past life on Mars. Curiosity's discoveries include Evidence of persistent liquid water in the past. Just after landing, Curiosity found smooth, rounded pebbles that likely rolled downstream for at least a few miles in a river that was angled to hip deep. When Curiosity reached Mount Sharp, the team found that over 1,000 vertical feet of rock formed originally as mud at the bottom of a series of shallow lakes. Rivers and lakes persisted in Gale Crater for perhaps a million years or longer. A suitable home for life. The Curiosity rover found that ancient Mars had the right chemistry to support living microbes. Curiosity found sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon, key ingredients necessary for life, in the powder sample drilled from the sheepbed mudstone in Yellowknife Bay. The sample also reveals clay minerals and not too much salt, which suggests fresh, possibly drinkable water once flowed there. Organic carbon found in Mars rocks. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life and they were discovered on Mars after a long search by the Sample Analysis at Mars, or SAM, instrument in several samples drilled from Mount Sharp and the surrounding plains. The finding doesn't necessarily mean there is past or present life on Mars, but it shows that raw ingredients existed for life to get started there at one time. It also means that ancient organic materials can be preserved for us to recognize and study today present and active methane in Mars's atmosphere. The tunable laser spectrometer within the SAM instrument detected a seasonally varying background level of atmospheric methane and observed a tenfold increase in methane over a two-month period. The discovery of methane is exciting because methane can be produced by living organisms or by chemical reactions between rock and water, for example. Radiation could pose health risks for humans. During her trip to Mars, Curiosity experienced radiation levels that would exceed NASA's career limit for astronauts, if left unshielded. The Radiation Assessment Detector, or RAD, instrument on Curiosity found that two forms of radiation pose potential health risks to astronauts in deep space. One is galactic cosmic rays, or GCRs, particles caused by supernova explosions and other high-energy events outside the solar system, or energetic particles or SEPs associated with solar flares and coronal mass ejections from the sun. NASA will use Curiosity's data to design missions to be safe for human explorers. A thicker atmosphere and more water in Mars's past. 
the SAM instrument suite has found Mars's present atmosphere to be enriched in the heavier forms isotopes of hydrogen, carbon, and argon. These measurements indicate that Mars has lost much of its original atmosphere and inventory of water. This loss occurred to space through the top of the atmosphere, a process currently being observed by the MAVEN orbiter. Seeing no sign of ancient life on Mars would bolster the case that Earth is indeed rather special, suggesting that despite almost identical initial conditions, no wee beasties ever managed to emerge on our sister world. In contrast, finding an independent origin of life on Mars would potent evidence for the mind-boggling notion that the universe is in some sense built for biology's blossoming. A seemingly sterile planet would be, in some respects, the most promising scenario for eventual human exploration and even settlement there. Perseverance promises to bring us closer to answers for these interlinked mysteries than any other mission in history, not the least because of its landing site, Jezero Crater, which arbors one of the planet's largest ancient lake and delta systems and is filled with sediments and just maybe microfossils, washed in from the surrounding watershed. The very first thing Perseverance will do after landing is to fire some pyrotechnic devices, releasing the covers on cameras on board the rover. It will then take images in front and behind the rover and send those back to Earth via NASA's orbiting Mars Odyssey spacecraft and Europe's Trace Gas Orbiter. After that, a quick nap of course, to recharge the batteries until the next day on Mars. Over the next few days, Perseverance will go through a number of important tasks to ensure it is up and running smoothly. It will confirm its exact location on Mars. It will also use the sun's overhead position to figure out where exactly Earth is in the sky for direct communications, and then run through checks of its instruments and systems while continuing to beam back images of its surroundings too. Tucked into the belly of Perseverance is a small 0.5 meter tall stowaway called Ingenuity. This Mars helicopter with four spinning blades will attempt powered aerodynamic flight through the skies of another world for the first time, a technological demonstration that could be a prelude to flying reconnaissance drones on future human missions. Ingenuity's flights will require perseverance to find a flat location, somewhere picked up by the helicopter team within a 10-day drive of the landing site, says Trosper, or up to one kilometer away with a rover able to travel about 100 meters a day. The flights will begin low and short but should eventually progress to higher altitudes and distances of potentially a few hundred meters. Only one flight can be attempted per day at most, with the helicopter charging between. Watching on will be Perseverance, taking images and possibly even video of the flights. The move towards the rover's primary science objectives will begin. In the days thereafter, Perseverance will potentially scoop its first samples on Mars and leave its first cigar-sized tube on the surface, small caches designed to be picked up by a future sample return mission to be brought back to Earth. It's MOXIE instrument, a technology demonstrator that will pluck carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere for chemical transformation into breathable oxygen, will likely be up and running as will META, a Martian weather instrument and RUMFAX, which will use radar to look for water ice underground. Now that Perseverance is safely on the surface, the clock is ticking. 20 samples in one Martian year is the mission's baseline goal. However, many Perseverance collects, they all must be ready for eventual pickup by a tag team duo, a sample retriever lander and an Earth return orbiter that could launch late this decade. Working together like partners in a relay race, they could bring the baton, perhaps a half a kilogram of precious specimens across the terra firm finish line as early as 2031. What are your thoughts on the latest discoveries of the Mars rover? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue giving you the best contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!